Hi there, I am Wuchia. Not so long ago I was trying to make a beat in a very chill and relaxed mode. I wanted to do something a bit like those lo-fi hip-hop stuff. But then I went a little bit astray and I ended up putting 98 different chords in it. So I'd like to deconstruct this chord progression with you today, showing you how I built it. So here is what the beat sounds like. Let me show you how it works. It all revolves around the concept of fifth. Basically, there are two kinds of fifth, one that refers to the note, like the fifth note of a chord, for instance, and another one that refers to a chord, like the fifth degree of a tonality, for instance. So I started my chord progression in the scale of C major. So I started with the chord of C major. And from there, I jumped from fifth to fifth while remaining in this scale of C major. So it goes C, G, D, A, E, B, F. And then I was like, yeah, let's make it sound all jazzy. So I've put all that in seventh chord to add some flavor. So, so far I have this chord progression that sounds like this. So from there, all I had to do was to add some rhythm to it. So I changed the length of each chord and I ended up with that. The handy thing about fifth is that the fifth degree of a tonality naturally creates tensions that wants to be resolved by the first degree of this tonality. So the five goes toward the one, and you can use that at your advantage. You can add passing notes that are not supposed to be in the scale that you're using by adding chords that are from another scale. So for example, if I want to land on this G chord here, what I can do is put just before the fifth degree of the G major scale, just like if this G chord was my first degree of the scale I'm using. So the fifth degree of G is D, and in the scale of D major, the seventh chord of D is D7, which is different from the D minor seventh chord we have in the C major scale. Here is what the difference sounds like. So this is just to add an external note from another scale, which in this case is this note here. But you can also use this trick to jump to another tonality completely. Wait, wait, wait. This is Wuchia from the future. I fucked up. All I said before is true, but what I've put in my song is not a D7 chord, it's a D diminished 7 chord. So it's still the same trick, it's still the same function, and it's still a D chord. It's the same, but different. Back to the video. So now I want to go to another tonality. I want to go from C major to F major. So I put my F chord, which will be my landing chord, which is cool because this chord is also inside my C major scale. So just before that, I can add its own fifth degree, which is C. So I'll put C7, which is inside this F major scale I want to go to. So now that I am landing on this F chord, I can stick with this F major tonality. I don't have to go back to the C major scale that I was using before. Okay, so let's keep all these last beats and play it all together to see what we got. So we began in C major and we drifted to F major. So theoretically, I can just copy paste the whole thing and transpose that to the F major scale. I say theoretically, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. So here is what it sounds like with a bass and a drum. So this loop is in F major but also drifts to another tonality and this is how we can continue our journey from a tonality to another, traveling through all the tonalities around the circle of fifth. Okay, so now you can all imagine how boring this can be if it's only the same loop that repeats itself again and again and again. So from time to time I inserted another chord progression between the loops to break the repetitiveness and let the song breathe a little. This new chord progression that I inserted is actually a simpler version of the chord progression we already had. I removed some of the chords to have a lighter rhythm and I simplified the chords by removing the seventh of each chord. Except for these chords that still have the seventh but lack the third so it becomes a seventh suspended chord. Then it's really the bass line and 
the drum that will change and make this loop sound different. So this new loop will be inserted in different places of the sound, so it will be transposed as well. And this is it. Then we have all the elements who have 98 different chords in our song. This is a little note I made to keep track of all the chords I had in my song. Some of them are actually the same, but wear different names depending on the function they have and the tonality they are in. If you want to hear this full beat, I have uploaded another video with the notes, the tonality, the chords and the function of each chord displayed on screen so you can follow along. Or I guess you can even download the music from there. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.